everyone. Welcome to this presentation on advanced data management using SolidWorks Manage. My name is Benoit Bidodo. I'm the manager here at Solid Experts for the Product Data Management Group, uh, PDM and Manage, basically. Quick agenda today, we're going to look at the, the life cycle, the theory behind what's, what is the life cycle. We will then talk about SolidWorks Manage uh, following uh, some um, something more practical in regard to these life cycle, and we'll conclude uh, following these three uh, first uh, items in uh, our agenda. So let's start right away with um, the life cycle, the theory behind it. What is a life cycle? So life cycle is basically uh, comprised within uh, five phases, uh, being planning, design, manufacturing distributions, and support and service. So it is a circle because it never ends, as you already mostly are aware of. And um, let's uh, go through each of these phases. Let's start with the planning phase. So during the planning fa phase, you'll be uh, assigned or you'll be faced uh, having to take several tasks, so system engineering, some requirement management, project management, risk management, resource management, the tasks, document management, approval process, reporting dashboards, all of these little tasks that you have to do or the little uh, actions you have to take uh, during the planning phase are real. And uh, most of the time you are using several softwares or several systems to be able to take on these, uh, these tasks, right? So these different tasks are uh, re related to the planning phase of a life cycle. And we have some more during the design phase of a life cycle. So all kinds of design, whether it's mechanical, software, electrical, simulation is part of it. You need some revision controls to be able to uh, follow up on improvement on your designs, some part management and bomb management being done uh, very often uh, uh, linked to each other, any process that, uh, for approval and change, uh, the figure mode the analysis will be uh, something you'll be wanting to document, and as well as uh, any other type of documents that you want to manage through the PDM, for instance. So this would be stuff that you'll need to do during the design phase of a life cycle. Then uh, there's the uh, manufacturing um, phase that you'll have to go through, uh, which will in include all these other uh, task that you'll need to to, uh, to do. So uh, you'll need to use some tooling, uh, sorry, some machine uh, for CAM, uh, using CAM for machining, uh, some part management, inventory, scheduling will be part of it. Very important to schedule your resource, to schedule your supplier, schedule everything to make sure that you can deliver whether it's a project or a product in a due, in a due time, you know. So uh, this is going to be needed. There's some bomb management, supplier management, quality management system, inspection, depending if you're doing a high volume, a low volume, how do you do that? So inspection is important, non-conformance process as well. Uh, some training and documentation, let's say for some of the teams that need to assemble some of these new machines that you're doing and selling and, and, and manufacturing, as well as some document that you need to manage there as well in this phase. Then we go on to the distribution phase, and this, th there's some stuff you need to do in there, like the serialization. Uh, if you're selling a certain volume of, uh, of your machines, let's say, well, these need a serial number in order to later on be able to uh, attack this uh, support and service uh, phase of the thing. So you need uh, some, some, some tool to do that, some bomb management and document management as well, and uh, the shipping needs to be uh, obviously uh, managed as well. And eventually, you'll get to the support and service uh, phase of the of the life cycle, where you will need some customer management and case management when you open a ticket for some problem, some maintenance and repair, uh, maybe some uh, preventive maintenance being in the, into a certain calendar, uh, some uh, document management again, part management and inventory if you need to bra uh, replace broken parts of a machine or a project that you've delivered. So basically, that's a quick presentation of a life cycle, right? We didn't drill into each and every detail, but just to give you an overview of what a life cycle is. Now, let's, let's look at SolidWorks Manage, the software, let's say. 
Let's forget about the life cycle for a moment and let's look at the SOLIDWORKS Manage as a software. So SOLIDWORKS Manage has got modules, it's called them modules, it's not really the case, it's all included, it's a big database, but we divided it into five, let's say, modules to understand better how SOLIDWORKS PDM um, works for you, sorry, SOLIDWORKS Manage. So file management is taken care of by SOLIDWORKS PDM, which you mostly uh, already know, and if not, you'll see, well, I'll do a quick presentation right now on SOLIDWORKS PDM. It is the file management system being used for SOLIDWORKS users, uh, and one of its main advantage is the integration it has with Windows. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen a, this type of integration with any other PDM I've known, and uh, the integration to Windows is unique for SOLIDWORKS PDM. So uh, just to quickly show you what it is, it's, it's right into Windows Explorer. You have access right away to a preview of a file that's selected. You understand that the files that are in the red, uh, sorry, in the green area, the, the green folders are in the vault. Right away after, you can click on the data card, which contains all information and is related to properties of that files. Uh, you can right away see the bill and materials of that assembly because the relations between the parts, assemblies, and assemblies are understood by SOLIDWORKS PDM and kept in the database. A quick preview of each of these files is available. If you go look at the Contains tab, it is pretty much the same thing, same thing than the, the BOM one with different type of columns and different way of looking at it. So it gives you some insight of what the assembly is using as a part and on the other way, in the other direction, you click on the where used and a part will be shown. If you click on a, a part, it will show you in which assembly it is being used uh, today, right? So you know right away if you need to modify a part where the impact is going to be, uh, uh, was going to show up, uh, giving you some insight of is it going to be a revision or do I need to make a new part? It gives you some idea, right? You have the information at your fingertip with SOLIDWORKS PDM. Now, the other integration of SOLIDWORKS PDM is straight within the SOLIDWORKS environment with an add-in. So again, we look at the same assembly right now, and on this assembly, we'll be able to right away click straight into the visual area and where you work. Uh, you click on the part that will be highlighted in the add-in. So right away, you have information on this part available, like the data card of this part, is available right there. And this is the data card of the part, not of the assembly. So right away you have information on that part, the specific part. And the, the, uh, the other way around is uh, the same. If you click in the add-in on the part, it will be highlighted in the visual area of SOLIDWORKS. And right there you can right away decide to change the state of that document and to approve it straight from within SOLIDWORKS without having to leave that software you've been using all the time. So it is very useful uh, to be able to do that straight into an environment in which you uh, are working, saving you lots of clicks, lots of times. And uh, it is right there available now being approved, so you know it's done. Straight into the SOLIDWORKS environment. So this is great. I mean, you don't even have to leave this, uh, this SOLIDWORKS to, to work with, uh, with SOLIDWORKS PDM. So this integration is quite unique as well. And of course, we also have the integration to Microsoft Office. So in any uh, of these software, whether it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you have access to a toolbar where you can check out, get latest version, change the state, show the data card straight from within Word, for instance, like being shown right at the screen right now. So this integration is really uh, the best I've seen for a PDM. Of course, again, showing you for five previews, data card bumps, all that that's shown you before being available straight into that SOLIDWORKS PDM integration within Windows. But more importantly, what's very important to me to tell you today, that I believe that SOLIDWORKS PDM is the best PDM you can get for SOLIDWORKS. Because of that tight integration, the fact that the service packs and the, the, the upgrades are always at the same time, so you don't need to worry if you want to go to SOLIDWORKS 2021, Right away, you can upgrade, it, uh, and PDM is available at the same time. And it is for SOLIDWORKS, uh, the SOLIDWORKS CAD software, right? So this was a quick, a quick um, introduction to SOLIDWORKS PDM for those of you who've never seen it. And 
All that to tell you that SolidWorks PDM is the file manager for manage. So why? It, 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 well, it is because we, we have integrated so, uh, PDM within manage in a way where it's bi-directional. So this is the interface in Windows of SolidWorks PDM. And you notice you have an, a tab for SolidWorks Manage and you have access to all information from Manage from within SolidWorks PDM and the other way around as well. You'll notice here that we are into the SolidWorks Manage interface having access to SolidWorks PDM files and folders and the preview of these files straight from within Manage. So this integration again is really, really tight and it gives you now more power to tap in all, the, uh, in all the information you already have in that SOLIDWORKS PDM database becomes available right away into SOLIDWORKS Manage, which allows you to do some other stuff like project management at this point. So with SOLIDWORKS Manage, you have now the possibility to simply plan and manage your project. Gantt chart available there for the planning section of, the, of your file. You have an audit trail. Everything that's being done is audited right there, the to-do list. So this to-do list shows you some tasks that need to be done. You can, you can uh, take a task and, and give, give it to someone, a resource, and assign that resource to, that, to, the, to this task. So, and attachments are available straight from PDM, basically, or not. It could be from outside if you don't have it in PDM. We have a nice task board uh, option that gives you this uh, this, uh, I would say, uh, posted view, you know, people I've seen that do this on whiteboard. So you, you got it, the digital version of it. Uh, the building materials are straight, uh, straight are available from the project, sorry. And uh, you got the deliverables, the project issues right there. If you can fix, you need, if you need to fix them, obviously, and the risk management is there as well. So you can have a nice, uh, a nice overview of your project straight from within SOLIDWORKS Manage, being connected to the files that you are already using today, right? So this is really interesting. Uh, we also uh, have a process management uh, integration in SOLIDWORKS Manage. So if you're familiar with SOLIDWORKS PDM, you're, uh, you, you're aware of the workflow where a file has got to go through a workflow, a survey of states to uh, get it to be approved, to be modified, uh, to apply revisions. Well, this is a process, right? But it is attached to a file. In Manage, the process is not attached to any file. Anything can go through a process. A process can simply be a, a, a form you fill in and that you get through the process, like a new product introduction form. This is the form you fill in, right? You can attach an assembly or a part from PDM, having some discussion that you can have from within the, 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 the task, it's, no, sorry, the, the process itself, uh, attachment, tasks that, has, that have to be uh, uh, done in, the, in that, uh, sorry, in that process. And then you have here the process by itself. So again, if you're familiar with processes, you will see that we have gates in that case. And between the different gates, you'll have um, some, uh, some, some states to go through in the process. And right there, You'll see in a different color, for instance, uh, with the three dots, this is where you're at in, into that new product introduction form that you've filled in. So there are no files attached to it, basically. Everything is, is into the database. So the process uh, can be linked to SolidWorks work, SolidWorks PDM workflow as well. So a process can trigger a state change into PDM and vice versa coming back to the process. So it's really integrated again, based upon your needs, obviously. Uh, then we get the records management. So uh, very often uh, you will have some items uh, that you will need to uh, manage into bombs, for instance, like these uh, cords, electrical cords. Cords, for instance, would be a thing that you'll never draw or never design in SolidWorks, uh, but you'll need to purchase it to include it with your package. Could be glue, oil, could be uh, uh, boxes for, uh, or bags for, uh, to, for the expedition, for the shipping. So um, all these can be uh, created within Manage, uh, maybe to ju with it, just attach a PDF or some, or some specs, 
but you don't need to create the part into SOLIDWORKS. And these are available to add up to your bombs that you will manage in SOLIDWORKS Manage. So you could add some of these purchased parts um, right from the records instead of doing it in, in PDM. And uh, then we have access to the dashboards and the reports. Uh, lastly, but not uh, the, le the least of it, um, it's very important. The dashboards I know are very important for people who have to decide to take some decisions. And in that case, uh, you have access to all kinds of dashboards. So for instance, that new product introduction forms that we filled in and the process that goes through well can be followed up with this dashboard right away at the fingertip. You can even click in the dashboard itself to make it uh, drill down the data you need to look at instead of looking at overview. It helps you take the right decisions, right? And then you can come back to the overview hall and all the information is available at your fingertip again. Same thing for the PDM content. Uh, what's approved? What's in the development? What's in past approval? What's with, what is the under, un, under approval? All of this will be available through a, a simple dashboard again. It helps you have an overview of what's happening right now in, uh, in your environment, right? Um, so same thing for the projects dashboard. So you have a project here uh, different projects and you want to do a follow-up, an overview of all your projects. Again, being uh, able to be filtered straight through the interface, give you drill down to, to drill down to get the information you need. And it's a nice overview that will help you in one glance to understand what's happening in your company or your uh, department. And so it could be your department or it could be the whole company. And these dashboards you can you can also have access to other databases than the managed one. Anything you can query in, in, in a Microsoft SQL could be shown as a dashboard or a report. Reports, by the way, are the same thing. They're just a way to make uh, uh, some data legible. So you can read them, you can understand them as a human being. So uh, as if you would like to print them, basically. So that new product introduction here that we've been talking about for the last few uh, few minutes, you can have access to a report if you need one. Same thing for the ECR or the ECO. We can create these uh, processes and uh, make them uh, visible as a um, as a, uh, a printed, let's say, a report. So if you go there and you simply go to the uh, change notice report, it will be printable or uh, you can even show it on a screen. I'm saying printable. It doesn't have to be paper, right? but you have something that you can read as a human being and understand. Same thing for all kinds of reports you'd like to do. That new introduction that I was talking about there previously, that new product introduction, you will have access to a report as well to see where it's going, what's the information about it, and all, all of this is available to create a report. So reports could be created for all the data you have available in SOLIDWORKS Manage. For instance, let's go to a bomb. If you have a bomb created in there and you want to to see a kit, one of these kits that you have available, then you can just see them as a report as well. And that report here is not something that's uh, there. That you have even the pictures of the files that there. You will notice that there are three variants. There's a Canadian one, an American one, and a European one. Let's say we don't only want to see the Canadian one. Right away you submit this and this is only the Canadian one you'll be seeing and you need to print probably, right? So all this information is available in Manage, but to be able to see it and understand it and read it, we can create dashboards and reports within Manage. All right, so that is a quick presentation of SOLIDWORKS Manage. Quick again, as quick as the, when I was talking about the life cycle. Now, how can we apply in practice uh, SOLIDWORKS Manage to a life cycle? Basically, that's what I want to see with you this afternoon. So, right here, we have a, uh, the phases right here that we have. So, uh, let's go back to planning. And in planning, I've shown all these tasks that you needed to attend to. Well, guess what? Manage will help you uh, go through these tasks quite easily. Yes, we can do requirement management. Yes, we can do project management. 
Yes, we can do risk management, resource management, task management, document management, approval process, and reporting and dashboard as I have just shown you. So it's a big yes. We can use SolidWorks Manage to, uh, to, to, to help us all, to attend all these tasks in the planning phase. Now let's look at the design phase. Mechanical electrical design will be taken care of by the CAD softwares, but it is part of managed somehow, right? So then we got simulation, revision control, part management, bomb management, all the other stuff that I've been talking about will be attended by attended by um, attended to by uh, SolidWorks Managed. So we there there are all the tools that we have will be able to help you go through these tasks and all in the same environment. So that's from planning to design to manufacturing uh, as well. Now, manufacturing, of course, most people are using an ERP and MRP software to go through these uh, tasks, but we'll be able to assist with some of them, right? And uh, maybe you already have quality management system and inspection system. If not, there's ways to use SolidWorks Manage and inspection. SolidWorks inspection may be to create our own management system for the inspection. Uh, in, you know, but inventory scheduling for your uh, production management, right? We could, again, for the planning, we were able to assign tasks to designers and all. But for the uh, manufacturing side of it, most of the time, MRP, RP software will uh, do that for you, well, with you, basically. Uh, let's talk about distribution. Well, again, serialization is mostly taken care of by the MRP, RP software. Where bomb, where bomb management and document management will be uh, taken care of by the SolidWorks Manage software. Shipping, if you ship with some companies, then most of the time will, uh, 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 will uh, allow you to use their environment to be able to manage all that. Is it UPS? Is it uh, FedEx? You already have access to their web site and you can access all this information from there. And then uh, support and service, well, if you don't already have a CRM, there is one available in SolidWorks Manage. Otherwise, you'd use the one you already have. Case management, document management, part management, of course, yes, it's possible to do this in Manage, but when you come to maintenance, repair, inventory, we'll switch to the MRP, ERP software uh, to do it. So again, quick overview of how SolidWorks Manage can help you uh, take care of all these tasks that are available, that are that have to be done in a life cycle. So, it is SolidWorks Manage is not a, a, a PLM, right? It is an advanced data management. It's a PDM plus, if you will, plus 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 even because you tap in the power of PDM and you get all the information, get it out of there and apply it to all kinds of other information or other tasks you need to do. So that's what we call advanced data management, and the way. The way I envision it is that it gets right between the SolidWorks CAD softwares and the ERP MRP, right between there. The sweet spot of SolidWorks Manage is right there. It's going to help you link all the CAD data you already have to an ERP MRP, but take care of all the other tasks you need to be done through into a life cycle. So this is where I envision SolidWorks Manage being positioned into, into your environment. So that's it for me. SolidWorks Manage is advanced data management. Again, hoping that it was a presentation that could uh, give you some new information. Uh, any questions you have, don't hesitate. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.